Today, it is estimated that more than 680,000 properties across London are at risk of flooding. In total, around 5 million people in 2 million properties live in flood risk areas in England and Wales. The rise in population in London and other cities across the world is going to be increasing at a dramatic rate for the remainder of this century, which coupled with climate change is going to have a great impact on how our city's infrastructures can deal with flooding. A solution to this problem is water boulevards, which mitigates the risks of flooding while also creating healthy places for people to live work and visit. The project integrates green infrastructure and water-sensitive urban design into our streets and can be applied as a network of green corridors to any city in risk of flooding to promote the three pillars of sustainability. For environmental sustainability, the ponds, whales and reed beds passively reduce flood risk, provide temporary storage for water and improve the water's quality while creating wetland habitats for various wildlife. For social sustainability, the boulevards will connect communities together while promoting engagement in water management and increasing social interaction. For economic sustainability, the boulevards will provide for premium retail frontages, thus increasing footfall and retail demand, which creates more jobs. The cost savings and efficiencies from water recycling and productive gardens will also be of an economic benefit. The proposal provides for variation of spaces and events that one can experience inside a dense city, all of which is accessible to everyone. The beauty of these spaces is that they're all connected in a unique and healthy aquatic setting, from tranquil gardens to playgrounds that bring children closer to nature. A great benefit of bringing the community together into the street is that they will become the eyes on the street, thus passively helping to keep the neighbourhood safe. We can also provide allotments, so people working or living in these communities can produce their own organic food. This engagement with the garden will give residents a sense of stewardship in the community, thus increasing social responsibility and reducing antisocial behaviour, isolation and stress. Another economic benefit of these boulevards is that they will provide well-connected green walkways to give city dwellers transport alternatives to driving thus changing the shift in priority from car travel to walking, cycling and bus travel. In some parts, we can have longer spaces, such as swimming ponds, which are naturally kept clean by the aquatic plants. A great benefit of providing attractive green spaces throughout the city is that they will enhance property values and encourage tourism. Ultimately, there are many ways that we can design these spaces, and they can be adapted to many different street typologies of various widths. Each street could have its own unique character by using different plants and hardscaping materials, which helps with wayfinding in the city. But they all have one thing in common, which is that they all provide for a linear aquatic park to collect and filter rainwater, which can then be utilized by the adjacent buildings. They also work together as a network of streets to connect the various open spaces within cities, such as squares, parks, and lakes, helping to activate the edges of these spaces and helping to bring people closer to nature. Ultimately, this proposal shows how we can be innovative in designing both our natural and built environment to make them more resilient to flooding. And if we can protect the environment and transform our cities into vibrant and flood resilient places that makes people feel healthy to live in, inspired to work in and want to visit, then that is a good example of a healthy 21st century city.